Hi there you guys, it's Melina. I'm here today with another video for you guys. I actually just got home from work, so I did not feel like changing. And if I change, I probably won't be motivated enough to sit down and make this video. Anyways, is the uniform is fine for this video, I guess. I don't really usually wear my uniform in my videos. I'm usually just at home in my room wearing my regular clothes, but I guess today it fits because I am talking about being in the military and what it's like having glasses in the military. Mm -hmm. basically going to be a video about what it's like having glasses in the military if you wear contacts those types of things because like I didn't really know what was gonna happen I had to ask my recruiter a bunch of things to prepare myself for boot camp so to start for boot camp you're supposed to go in wearing your glasses and I think technically you're allowed to wear your contacts but they're gonna make you throw them away pretty early on within like the first two days or so. I think you're allowed to have them maybe more than two days. You're supposed to have them up until you get um, your vision part of medical done and once you get that part done, they're gonna issue you glasses if you need them and that's when they're gonna make you get rid of your contacts. I do remember in boot camp I did bring an extra pair of my contacts and I had them inside of like that makeup bag that you're allowed to bring for boot camp, which is like a small bag, which I have another video about packing up like my makeup for boot camp. So within that bag, I had my contact case for my actual contacts that I wanted to wear for my actual graduation because you only get to wear like makeup and contacts like for graduation basically, that's it. So basically, once I joined the military, like once I passed boot camp and made it through and I got sent to my first um, school, they don't really worry about you because you're you're fresh from boot camp and in boot camp they give you everything, new glasses, you get shots, you dental, everything. So for the most part you don't have to worry about that till after your schooling because most of the time schooling isn't longer than a year. For me it was about six months when everything was said and done before I had to go to my actual duty station which I thankfully got Hawaii and it's beautiful here and I love it and I still haven't gotten island fever and I'm a day away from my like anniversary of being in Hawaii so it's pretty cool so once I got to Hawaii I did hit like my year mark in the military and stuff like that I got told I had to go you know do vision and stuff like that got my eyes checked out they let me pick out like two different glasses they let me pick out two different glasses and I have those glasses now. I still have my boot camp glasses and I still have one pair of my own personal glasses. So I have plenty. The main thing though that I wanted to get at was the military doesn't give you contacts. That part sucks for me because I don't like wearing glasses. They give me headaches. I don't like them on my face. I avoid wearing them as much as possible. But when you run out of contacts, that's kind of it because you have to go ahead and buy them. So. Previous to the military, I was on my mother's insurance, so they covered the cost of most of it, and we had to come out of pocket whatever the remainder was, and I would get like a year's worth of contacts ordered through the insurance. And that's how I've been since early on in high school, maybe even middle school, I've worn contacts. For the most part, my contacts lasted me all the way up until when I got to Hawaii, so about a year into the military, I still had leftovers from like my mom's um, insurance. And then I ran out and I found out that you have to cover it yourself, like that's that's not something that they do. So if you wear contacts, you're gonna have to know that it's an extra cost and depending on how bad your prescription is, it can be pretty expensive. Since being in the military, I have bought my own contacts twice. I probably get a little more use out of them than I'm supposed to, but I take them out every single night, change the solution every single night, so my contacts last me a little bit longer. So, the interesting part though, depending on where you go in the military, they do offer LASIK eye surgery and PRK. And from what I understand, LASIK is, they lift something in your eye, clean some stuff out, put it back, you heal. PRK is they just like remove something from your eye completely. I don't know really. I haven't gone officially to set up an appointment yet, but there is a brief that I will attend. They're gonna explain 
pros and cons for both. I'm gonna bring in some paperwork and if I'm a good candidate, which I think or hope that I am a good candidate because my eye prescription has stayed relatively the same for the last two years or so, meaning my eyes like have stabilized, I could be a good candidate for LASIK or PR care, whichever one is better for me. So I definitely, the sun kind of is going away. I definitely want to get LASIK and or PRK just because I am so tired of wearing contacts. It's a hassle taking them out every single night, putting them in every single morning, but I'm gonna do it because I hate classes even more. Plus they give me a headache. I work all day inside with computers and stuff like that. I don't wanna sit there looking at the monitor screen and the lights are reflecting off of my glasses because it's plastic because the military doesn't give super expensive glasses. It's just, you know, it's military grade. It's gonna be as cheap as possible because I gotta put out as much as possible. So the military glasses that I've been given are extra thick. There's no type, it's just straight plastic. There's no type of like help. Before, when I was like a civilian and my mom had me get glasses, they would always be actual glass and she would pay a little bit extra to get a little bit thinner glasses so you couldn't see that I was that blind. And then on top of that, for the most part, it had like this type of uh, protection to where there was no glare. So from behind the big, thick glasses that I had, but they were a little thinner because my mom paid for it, behind them it was less of like a glare. But because of the fact that now I'm in the military, I kind of don't really have all those options, unless I want to pay for it. I mean, you always have the option. You can go anywhere you want. You can get free eye exams. They'll like, you know, once a year you're allowed to get your eye checkup and then you can take your prescription that they give to you and you can go anywhere you want, whether it's to get contacts or to get glasses. So you're allowed to do those things and make it happen for yourself. It's just gonna come out of your pocket a little bit more. You're gonna feel that a little bit more. So me personally, I have never gone to like go get my own personal glasses because I just don't wear them enough because I wear contacts so regularly. However, I did go a nice like two months just recently of wearing glasses every single day because I was, I couldn't afford to buy myself hundred dollar contacts and just drop a hundred like that. I had some stuff happen with my car and on top of that there's always family things going on and then you know, I live in Hawaii, it's pretty expensive, if I want to eat, it's kind of expensive. All these types of things, you know, definitely money management would have helped but I didn't feel like dropping a hundred dollars on contacts so I went ahead and just kind of stuck it out with the glasses and I got contacts because I was tired of it. All that being said, you definitely should find out like what works for you, whether you're a glasses wearer or a contact wearer. Ask your recruiter what you should bring to boot camp if you want to have like that one pair of contacts for when you graduate. Make sure you pack that. Um, if you have glasses, it might be easier to just go in to boot camp with glasses on. Whatever case it is, I went in with contacts because, like I said, I don't like glasses, so I went in wearing contacts, threw them out then switched to glasses when they absolutely forced me to, and then I wore my contacts that last day for graduation. So it's really up to you. If, you're, if your glasses aren't that bad prescription and it doesn't bother you that much, just wear glasses the entire time. Even for graduation, you don't have to wear contacts. There are plenty of people that I have met that hate wearing contacts. They're like, no, I just can't put anything in my eyes and I can't do it, and I'm just like, give me the eyeball. I wanna, like, I don't care. So everybody is very different. My goal, Definitely will be getting LASIK or PRK. I would love, I love hearing the stories about, I woke up and I could see and I'm like, that must be so nice, cause I can't. That being said, we'll see how it goes. Um, if I do end up getting LASIK eye surgery, I definitely hope to maybe record an after surgery video or something, just to tell everybody like how it went, so what my experience was like getting LASIK surgery um, and or PRK and just kind of like doing a little bit of like a story time on what that was all like for me. Anyways, that is my video for today. I just wanted to answer questions about contacts and glasses and all that other stuff. So the key points basically is during boot camp, you're not gonna be allowed to wear your contacts during it. You're gonna have to wear your glasses. They will allow you to wear your contacts for graduation, but that's about it. Once you're actually in the military and you're active duty, you're gonna get your regular annual eye exams. You can go out of your way and get your own contacts like I do or get your own glasses. Like I know some of my friends like getting their own glasses from lens crafters or wherever. They don't want the government issued one because they're they're cheap. They're plasticky and they're not, they, they come in like three different style frames. That's it, you got like three choices and that's it. So if you want like, you know, better frames or a certain look or whatever, then you have to go get your own. Also, once you get to your command, make sure you ask around. Ask around about LASIK. I'm not sure if it's 
dependent on where you get stationed. So you would definitely have to ask and figure those types of things out. But for the most part, um, thankfully the Navy does make everything pretty much reachable to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if you guys have any more questions. I am going to try and be a lot more steady with my videos for you guys. There's a lot up and coming, a lot I'm trying to do. And yeah, I'm looking forward to sharing a lot about that. Thanks, bye. Hey, hey. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night?